This is Broad Street Memorial in Stanford, but why are we here? We are here because we are looking at Arthur Cowie and he is at this very memorial. His full name was Arthur William Spring Cowie. He was in the Lincolnshire Regiment. His regiment number was 434. Arthur Cowie was in the Hunt Cyclist Corps and he was 5 feet and 10 and a quarter inches tall. How tall did you have to be to be in the Hunt Cyclist Corps? Well, you had to be 5 feet and 2 inches tall. Cowie was born in 1886 and he died in 1916. That meant he was 30 years old when he died. How shocking is that? The types of bicycles used in the Hunt Cyclist Corps were folding bicycles. Are there any other styles made? Other styles were made in Austria, such as the civilian roadster and the military roadster. Your bicycle had to be in good condition, complete with two brakes, mud guards, a carrier, a lamp, a bell, a pump and a repair kit. If your bike was in camp for eight days, you got a pound. If it wasn't in camp for eight days, you didn't get your pound. When World War One ended, the 1st Battalion stood down, but it was on the 4th of August when the battalions actually went to war. On the 12th of December 1919, the 2nd Battalion stood down. Cyclists were vital during World War One. Cowie played a huge part in this. In February 1914, the plan was put ahead and to allow the cyclist battalions to go to war. Did you know that the cyclists actually were volunteers who originally patrolled the coast to check if they were safe? Back to Arthur Cowie. He was injured with a bullet in the top of his right arm, but it wasn't serious. That was in 1916. He was a classic master at Stamford Grammar School for three and a half years. After that, he immediately joined the Hunt Cyclist Corps. He was killed in action on the 8th of February, the 8th of Ju July, 19... Danzig Alley, British Cemetery, Mamet in Somme, France. That's where he is buried. His grave number is 7H7. Arthur was a second lieutenant. Bye for now. If you want to know more, then take a look at links to the past.